What is going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of WWE Supercard here on the channel. If you are brand new to the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button as always and like the video if you enjoyed today's video. In this video, you're going to have the Road to Glory Jeff Hardy finale. I'm going to also open up those crappy holiday packs. Why not? I figured they're there. I'll open 10 of them. I did have TBG, but I made the huge mistake of deleting them by accident. So, TBG's lost, but if you guys wanted to know, it was one Neon and two Gothics in my uh, TBG pack. I got the worst set of rewards possible, and it wasn't even that great. So, yeah, well, I apologize for that. And they announced Winter Wonderland, so I'll probably go into details for you guys about Winter Wonderland and uh, tell you how it will be, and if you should invest your time, money, whatever you want into, into it. Uh, so I, I did notice some people posting Winter Wonderland event details, and they didn't say one fucking thing about how to do the event. They say how to do this event, and they didn't even tell you one fucking thing. It's so stupid, man. People are retarded as hell. They just do it for views. Who knows? So, yeah, I'll go ahead and give you guys it. So, now let's start off with the 10 holiday uh, stocking stuffers. Uh, 99 credits for this pack uh, I don't expect anything good out of these packs at all I expect all of it to be crap we start with an ultimate just what I wanted baby let's go on to the next one. Oh baby Aiden English gotta love it open up another one cause I'm a st oh it's an ultimate oh it's an titties more titties we're getting titties all over the place today alright Ooh, WrestleMania. Oh, more titties. Mm-hmm. You gotta love them titties. Please be some titties. Damn. No titties. <laughs> All right. Uh, man boobs. All right. We're getting, wrestle we're getting some wrestling 17s out of our ass, man. It's a great pack. It's a great pack. Oh, baby. Kurt Angle. Boy, weren't you fun to get back in the day. All right. Alexander Wolf, last pack, because we ain't getting shit. 1,000 credits right then and there, baby. And Cesaro. So that would do it for those packs. <laughs> it was probably like, I probably get a better in my free pack. Nope, we're going to continue, still continue that trend of that Jinder Mahal. All right. So we're now going to get into the Road to Glory part. Enjoy. All right, you guys, here we go. The finale of Road to Glory, Jeff Hardy. I finished this Friday night. It is my goal. That's what I wanted to get over, and it is Friday night. And we are only literally four points away from ending it all. Now, if you guys want my opinion on this, I'll gladly give you my opinion on this Road to Glory. It's weird. In my eyes, it is weird the way this Road to Glory is. So... If your deck isn't up to par, you're going to struggle against Gothic, Neons, and stuff like that. I'm going to say you're going to struggle. Matt Hardy, I plus six the entire card. It wasn't that bad. If you're a shattered deck, at least, I'd say, like in this standard of shattered deck, you should be fine plus six in Matt Hardy. And then you're going to be plus two in Jeff Hardy at times, unless you could possibly beat the plus sixes and plus tens. But it's kind of difficult because the calls just don't go your way sometimes. And then you get about, I'd say, 160 points into Jeff Hardy is when it gets super hard when you have to drop the plus twos. Before that, you can plus six it with a shattered deck. It was fine with me. So it was weird that the difficulty got hard on Jeff Hardy, about 160. And then I say about maybe to 240, then the difficulty went out the window. It no longer was difficult. So this World to Glory is... It's going to be difficult if your deck is Neon and Gothic, but if you're Shattered, it's not really going to affect you that much. I know it's, it's kind of weird to say that because, you know, like, your Shattered decks, so obviously you're higher up. But usually if you're not Shattered plus, you would struggle like hell around here. But that's not the case. Shattered should be just fine. Neon plus plus should be fine as well. Then you'll, you'll start struggling here, in my opinion. As you already know, the plus sixes and the plus tens have reversed now. 
Uh, Spencer was always was the plus 10 for me always, and now I would not fight this guy because this guy would kill me. What I would do is back out and look for someone else that I can easily handle. Usually I wait for the, you know, the regular shattered person to appear, as always. Currently not getting that at the end. Uh, Macho Warrior, all right, Amateur. I think I could beat Amateur. The General, which I can never get like, away from that guy. That guy follows me and came here. There you go. Poe Gens. A regular shattered person. I should do just I should do just fine against this guy. We pretty much have even decks. Maybe he has maybe one pro more than me. Who knows? But it is even and I have a chance. And that's all you need in this game is chance. Now I'm gonna sacrifice this one because I know maybe a shattered card is gonna probably possibly come out. Nope, we lost that one. I should have went with the shattered card. But the next round I'll go with Shatter for sure, because I know that's gonna be the next card. Unfortunately, uh, it's 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 not really looking good for me right now. Uh, <laughs> all his good cards came out so far, and I'll probably lose this one too. No, but we are down a shatter card at this point, which is not good at this stage. All right, Power Gens, you're giving me a battle for a lifetime. I kind of want to get rid of Ricochet on this one because he's useless when it comes to this battle. So we'll get rid of Ricochet. Uh, Dan O'Brien wouldn't even beat that Stone Cold Steve Austin because it has momentum. I switched up my momentum to where it could be better for me. Uh, I'll sacrifice this match just in case we won that one. So now we'll probably win two matches in this one instead of one. Which is, I kind of want to go with Samoa Joe because he didn't bring out a Shatter card. So I know he might not have one and there you go. And now we got, we got Daniel Bryan, which he should win this one. Alright. But we did lose another Shatter card, but he also lost. One, so I'm keeping that in my mind if he has an advantage over me. Uh, we do have two compatible tags here. As you can see, my Raven Series is a little bit momentum on it. I'm gonna save that one because it's gonna maybe become a key crucial. Johnny Gargano is not that great of a card, so we'll get rid of him. Velveteen Dreams gonna, it's gonna fuck us up. Rusev will probably lose this one too. Oh, never mind. Go on, Rusev. Have yourself a day, bro. Alright, now can we get a tag team? Perfect. Just what I needed to end this. It was that two 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 point advantage until last round. Call two tags and it's GG at this point. All right, so we do have Alexa Bliss. Can we win this one? Yes, we can. Cause I'm smart when it comes to token and my cards. <laughs> We're gonna win this with easy peasy lemon squeezy. All right, so I already know his Matt Hardy. Well, I already know his cards gonna kill mine. So we go with John Cena here. There you go. There's Buddy Murphy. And uh, hoping for the call it tag, it didn't even matter anyways, because we would have won anyways. But we smoke him, just that like that. And Jeff Hardy is completed, ladies and gentlemen. Powell Jens, all right, thanks you for that, man. All right. Plus four, have you ever seen that before? I don't think so. Oh, you probably have. So Jeff Hardy, ring down will start on Sunday at 9 o'clock. I don't know if they're going to accidentally have the double picks in that or not. But we'll wait and see. Almost charged up for Team Battleground, which is kind of funny. I'm probably going to show you guys my opponents. I'm sure they want to appear on YouTube. So uh, we'll show you my opponents for this. But yeah, Jeff Hardy's all done. So sweet. No more Road to Glory for me. Simple, easy task. We'll go to my cards and go ahead and lock him up, of course. Jeff Hardy, lock. Let's check out some images before we uh, go on. Uh, I think I have every Jeff Hardy image. Dude, look at... Oh, okay. Well, with the thing, it looks kind of crappy. I'm not going to lie. I, I don't know what is wrong with that. Uh, Jeff Hardy, eh, looks okay, but the the glow. Uh, does he really even have a good image? He doesn't really have an amazing image that stands out. Like, this gets ruined with the whole green... I would say the gothic one looks the best, but the image is pixelated as hell. It probably looked better on phone than on the simulator, but this doesn't look that bad for that. So, you know, whatever at this point. Don't even care. Alright. And let's see what the gothic looks like. Looks okay. Not the greatest. It's just, is there anything else I could see? 
Let's see, here's the, the great other car, which is look, looks really bad pixelated. Jeff Hardy uh, doesn't look bad with the SummerSlam uh, 17. Looks pretty good. And, of course, the event car I'm sure most people are going to use is this one. So, yeah, guys, that would do it for uh, this part of the video. I don't know if I'm going to have anything else to add to it. So, if we do, as you can see, I've been eliminated. I decided to throw this camera in because I know my boy... Uh, I got it in a camera with my boy, my teammate, G, and I said you could take it because, you know, he's better than me and he, he can go all the way, so let him get his card, move on to my own camera ring and get fucked up. As you can see, we're going up against the Wicked Virgins 2, so Wicked Wrestlers against Wicked Virgins 2, Shattered Team versus Shattered Team, boy oh boy, it's just going to be fun, we're going to have some fun. Uh, we always kind of get screwed when it comes to the point balance ratio. And I must say, we really got screwed here. I think these guys have a huge advantage over us. And I mean huge. 120, 113, and we're at 108 and 108. That kind of puts us at a downward spiral. And as you can see here, they got 92, 92, 93, 93. But the problem is, though, is we got 92, 93, 93. So it's only one thing advantage where they got two. So honestly, this is in favor of them right now, in my opinion. They are the odds-on favorite, unless we struggle like hell. The good thing for me is I'm one of the bottom decks, so I already know I'm probably going to be fighting one of these guys, which makes my life easier as fuck. Uh, these guys up here obviously are going to struggle, but that's their fucking problem, not mine. <laughs> So yeah guys, we're gonna end the video right here. Uh for let me see if I can get anything else content wise. Thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you guys uh after the break. Be right back. Alright you guys, that will wrap up today's video. To end of the video, I just want to go into little details and actually give you some information about the event. Uh, super some supercar players had the nerve to post the event, but they didn't even go into any detail. But they would put the video as how to get these cards and not even give you any fucking details. So let me go ahead and be the one to explain it to you. Uh, you guys already deal with the Halloween event, so it's pretty much going to be almost a similar thing. From December 12th to December 19th, you're going to be pulling these cards off the board. It'll be a snowman, snowflakes, and you have to make snowman cards. Eight snowman cards are going to make a fusion from Goliath to Shattered. There's five, I believe, per tier. So the odds of you getting something amazing may not be the highest, but it's something. Now, I know a lot of people are going to tell you, hey, Ed, uh, is this going to be a cash grab? It could be. But it also is more of a grind fest. If you grind it out easily, you can easily get these. Because remember, it's going to be elite and ultimate, and elites are pretty much common. They're not like they're not going to be hard to get. This is going to be like Halloween. Just stack up. You could probably be able to do five or six fusions from the get go if you truly grind your heart out. So, guys, in my opinion, is this a money event? No, it's more of a luck event. But if you grind, you have more opportunity. So grind the fuck out of from December 12th to the 19th. And then on the 19th is when you can start your fusions. And then also still pick from the board. Ends on January 1st at midnight. Ha Happy New Year's. <laughs> so yeah, that is how it went. So for, if anyone tells you this is a money grab, you can just tell them shut the fuck up. They're either just talking up their asses and they don't grind. And they're going to rely on their free packs to get their enhancements because they're little bitches. So I'll leave it at that. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, thumbs up as always because we never get shit in our 99 packs unless you're shit. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more supercar content. We'll see you guys next time. Take care.